Ladies and gentlemen, good evening on the very last day um, of the USBA National Championships. It's a time of the party, banquet and all this stuff uh, going on. And I have the honor still at the very end to have some four-way champions here to present. Um, and those are the advanced class four-way champions this year of um, ranch second generation. Um, Michelle over there, Michelle Caramon, Christopher Kuhlman, right, Joey Marshall. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time. And we are missing one um, team member, and we have replaced her. That's Brennan. She. What, what, what is it with Brennan, Michelle? Explain it qu uh, quickly to us. Uh, Bren had exams for school, so she had to go back Thursday morning. So we're missing her, but we found an adequate replacement who is also a four-way champion. <laughs> 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 Mr. <laughs> Nicholas Hamlin, <laughs> you know the team a little bit. Yeah, I've been uh, working with them a little bit actually the last two years, but uh, most of the credit goes to them. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, you also won something here, right? Yeah, I won the uh, the uh, Open Four Way uh, U.S. Nationals, and uh, my team Arizona Airspeed was. Uh, selected to become the US team to go to Australia to fight for the uh, world championships with the French team and with the Belgians yeah congratulations to all of you first and and uh, Nicholas of course you know we we, are, we knew all that the whole world knows this by now and what what um what a battle it was uh, it must have been nerve-wracking yeah absolutely uh, we were a little bit slow going in the beginning of the competition uh, compared to what we have been this season and it was a lot of nerves. Uh, I can only speak for my team, definitely. Uh, you know, every, uh, didn't sleep during the night. <laughs> and very nervous during the day, but like anyone else at our level, uh, I think we performed be better uh, in those moments than we could have without it. So uh, it, the good comes with the bad, you know. And it sounds like it will come again. I, I heard already that rhythm will continue, so we will have uh, good a few good future and four-way competition here. Did you know that already? I had no idea what they're doing. I All I know is what we're doing. And uh, we're sticking uh, through 2020, at the end of 2020. And uh, I mean, we're training, uh, we're going to train hard and uh, pursue Hayabusa, the current world champions. And uh, yeah, we're doing our own thing. And uh, it's, it's awesome to have domestic competition. Rhythm did phenomenal this year. And uh, not to uh, take away from uh, what Airspeed did or anything like that, but they uh, performed great. So uh, if, if they're going to stick around for the next three years, uh, 18, 19, and 2020, that's just going to be great domestically for us and even for them to push each other. So it, it's going to just prepare us and, and for battles that we have to come. And it's going to make them better, chasing us, you know. And uh, But I by no means, it's just this competition that we beat them. Uh, who knows who's going to beat who in the next one, you know. I mean, looking so much forward to that. Now l let's go to the the team that we are actually really interested in. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry, Nick. Just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Ranch second generation. Who is the next generation of forward competition here? And of course, I do remember, and m others may remember too, that we talked already about a year and a half ago. I remember. I think it was you had just one in intermediate class and at 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 SB, yeah. yeah. So a year and a half later, how does it feel like being the winner of the advanced class medal? <coughs> well, uh, it's I think it's been a long road. I think I was watching, I r randomly ran into that interview and uh, it was, uh, I don't know, it was interesting to watch because uh, it seemed like a really long time ago. But it really hasn't been, and you know we've just been pedaling along since then. You know, <coughs> Pedali pedaling along. <laughs> yeah. There you go. 16.5 average, right? Which is not really far at all from what the best adva advanced class teams. I'm sure you have studied the history, right? So, w what is it? How how is the value of the 16.5? Um, I think it's a great score for us. Um, we didn't really know what our score would be coming into this meet. Um, we had a relative idea. Um, and the other thing is that we really had no idea who our competition would be. There weren't that many um, other teams that would be competing in advance who were doing any local competitions. So we were just coming in here blind without having 
any idea of what bar we needed to set, so we just tried to focus on the best that we could do as a team and pull together all that we've accomplished with our training and put our best performance out there. Which turned out to be shortly behind the best average ever, which uh -huh. is the rhythm and um, uh, and um, next nice, yeah. next uh, two. They had to go up to uh, um, triple uh, um, open class. It is uh, next year. Is that your plan for next year, Chris? Yes, it is. Yep. And um, do you have a whole plan for next year already together? Uh, we don't have a plan yet, but it's going to... An intent. Yeah, yeah, we have an intent, and uh, we're going to have a good team meeting after Nationals now that it's over and when we get back home and uh, figure out wha what direction we're going to go in. So the team stays together, that's for sure, and we gosh, I'm so happy to hear that. That's That's fantastic. And there's no, nobody is going to take you away yet, like Yespeed has a plan with this lineup for 2020 and... Not until 2020. <laughs> 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 and Rhythm is not recruiting either as it sounds, so that means you're on your, on your, s on your own for, for the next uh, upcoming time. Yeah. Well, what is the plan? You're going to take a break now probably. <coughs> yeah, I mean we need time just to uh, figure out our plan for next year. Um, that's going to take at least a month to figure out, I think, uh, to solidify. Um, like Nick said, we have an intent. We know that if we're going to go into open, that uh, <clears throat> we don't want to, we kind of have to set our own goals in open, right? Uh, because we're competing with obviously the highest competition. But at the same time, we don't want to jump into that class and uh, fall into the wayside. So we have to uh, kind of meet a commitment level with professionals while at the same time uh, setting goals that are uh, unique to us. And you are unique uh, definitely already because uh, as far as I know, your teammate Bren, she, she is 20 years of age, right? So, so she is by far the uh, the youngest, probably and Nicholas, you, you can help me there, but she must be the youngest advanced class champion in the history. I mean, uh, I, I don't know the statistics specifically, but definitely one of the youngest. I mean, uh, we've had uh, Air Force Academy teams with similar age uh, winners, uh, like in 2012. We had uh, uh, them going up on round 11 for a jump off. And between those... Class, was it? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. and they uh, did like a 15-2 uh, or something like that, if I remember, or something like that. And, and I'm sure they had uh, someone in similar age. But regardless, I mean, the Air Force Academy, they move on, do other things within, uh, you know, the Air Force. Uh, the, the, this yeah. team did it themselves. They worked, had regular jobs, put uh, the money together and trained. And they did that for two years. And when this whole team started, I think, uh, you know, um, that's uh, we made a plan from the beginning and they stuck by it. You know, as far as coaching and stuff is concerned, they had uh, uh, some direction from me. But what you guys see is them doing it on their own. They phoned in a tunnel, trained on their own. 90% of the time, so, uh, you know, uh, it's amazing. Well, and, and then, uh, first of all, you know, congratulations to, to Brendan, of course, um, th and then also not to forget Mr. Sonic, right? Cam <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> Cameron Bayraslami, Bayraslam <laughs> Sonic. Man, congratulations, well done, guy. Yeah. He's the heart and the appetite of the team. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going at the ranch? I mean, that's your home drop zone still, right? Yeah. And, and um, yeah, how many jumps did you do there this year? Uh, we did, uh, oh yeah, uh, 160 like maybe? Or no, 150. Somewhere between 120 and 150, I'd yeah. say. And then some stuff in Arizona, or where, where else do you go? <coughs> that's right. It must have been 150 at the, at the ranch because we did 100 jumps at Eloy this year. And to total, our total was 250. But uh, uh, the year before that, they didn't even break 90 training jumps. Yep. Yeah, the so 80 six. 86 jumps. Yeah. I mean, crazy can't, can't get to a 16.5 average in the uh, with a with a 90 training jumps. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but so that was like last year was their breakout year, right? They did what they did, and they ended up getting on the podium. And uh, you could see the scores last year in the standings, how they just grew through that meet. And I felt like that energy kind of just continued. We made a plan based on that year, and then we just executed it. And uh, as we said, it was it was just awesome. Well, it's fantastic, fantastic news to hear that um, you know that you are having having an intent for next year. So I'm 
Very glad to hear that. Congratulations again. Did anybody do, um, you did some other stuff? Eight way, 10, 16 yeah. way, 10 way? The, yeah. the three of us pretty much did all of the events. Yeah. yeah. Like two skydivers. <laughs> <laughs> we came out here, we might as well yeah. keep going. Yep, and there there is a, a lot of medals uh, there too. These two got silver in 16 way. I got bronze in 16 way. These two got silver in bronze and uh, ten way. Bronze and ten way. Thank you. Wow, that's a very exciting event for you. Well, the party is going on there now. I don't know if you, do you have to go out for awards anything or again tonight or we do. We do. I'm not going to hold you up any longer. Thank you very much again. Congratulations. Thank you. And I can't wait for the next time. Who knows where it's going to be next year sometime. Somewhere. Probably the New Hampshire Tunnel. Hurricane uh, yeah. 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 Shamrock maybe. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank Have fun. You.